just as an example, I was teaching Romeo and Juliet a couple years ago. Had a couple boys from Bosnia ride off the boat. If we're doing Romeo and Juliet, they're cooked. But if we're doing an inquiry, um, such as what makes and breaks relationships, they can involve themselves because I can have them read the manga version of Romeo and Juliet. Uh, those boys got interested and went online to find Romeo and Juliet stories from Bosnia. And they found two. I thought they were talking folk tales. In fact, they were talking news articles. I said to them, wow, because they're in Bosnia. You have to translate those stories and make a manga version for us so that we can benefit from that story. Well, you see what happened. In a normal classroom that's information transmission, they're marginalized because they can't really read and write English that well. But because we're doing inquiry, their difference privileged them because they knew stuff nobody else knew and they brought stuff to the common project that nobody else could bring. And everything they did was appropriate, right? Because reading the manga supports their English. It visually supports their English. Creating the manga in English based on their resource, their Bosnian literacy was appropriate. And it helps the rest of the class understand our topic more deeply.